Like you crave that corn when it's freshly bopped. You gotta beat it to the box with the butter on the top. Get with it, man. Start strolling down to the sweets that you roll in the best in town. Our candy's real gone, if I'm understood. To all you squares, that means the confection is positively delicious. Cork that stuff. Give me five. Let me send you into this nutty jive. <laughs> Shake it on down to this cool snack bar. Come on, Jill, give us a treat. A friendly pepper upper with a tasty beat. Drink Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dr. Pepper, cause the pepper lets you down. Frosty, man, frosty. Welcome in, welcome in to Baltimore Destroy Humans. This is our feature where we try and destroy all the humans in Detroit. Um, this is, from here on, is my first playthrough. I guess um, I played a little bit and we caught up to that in episode one and two. So here on out, it's purely new to me. Um, but yeah, the goal remains the same. Let's just see how many people we can take out in the found footage vein. Has been a while since we launched this. We did some locksmith streams for a couple of weeks. Uh, I thought we'd get back to this. Looking forward to see what's coming up. Absolutely. This lady, she always wants to, me to fill out a survey. Are you going to do it? Oops. I think your saved game is corrupted. Oh, that's some bullshit. Just kidding. Now, what if my save game was actually corrupted? She's just said, just kidding. She's just cr created all this torment. I think um, the closest thing I came to a save game corruption in the past, which was absolute hell, when I was about, I don't know how old it was, when Final Fantasy VII came out, I got all the way to the third disc, about to go into the crater to fight Sephiroth. I hired a game from the local video shop, City of the Lost Children. And I played that game, and it auto-saved, or made me, it didn't didn't give me the option, or didn't let me know exactly the the details of saving. Um, and each save in that game is 15 blocks. And guess how many blocks there are in a PlayStation? Game? 15. Completely overloaded. My Did you know the motto of Detroit is, "We hope for better things." That was a sad day, but I was young, I was dumb. I was able to launch that puppy back up and get back to where I was. All right, well, I guess we can, can continue now. Um, I've got my cup of joe, got you guys. Um, let's see where we're at. Last time we were in the house of the grown up kid next door from Toy Story where he was, you know, Combining robots to make monstrosities, uh, but they killed them. Mm. Funny, it's raining and I've got an umbrella in my hand. But by golly, I just don't want to use it. I'm using Hitman controls like bumpers to run. Maybe you can't run this thing. It's a toy. Just see it down the bottom. That's right, I've got this searchy robot thing. And then she's Hitman vision, if you will. 
Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? I'd rather baby see one. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? All bottle zones, how you doing? Diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. Dead rock from the sun. It may take <laughs> weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. Right. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? It's improving. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Hmm, gonna break in. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna stay there and do that. Cool. We can pay. Dogger. That's a real weird effect on the glass. Rather than like raindrops, it looks like um, like the glass is melted. Maybe they didn't have glass tech back then. Oh, I drive through. Easy, oh. sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know sumo. your name. Sumo's a good name. For I'm here dog. to save your owner. That wasn't as graceful as I thought it would be. I thought he was gonna, you know, jump through, do a nice roll, but he just sort of jumped through and flopped. But I'm okay with that. Oh, it looks, this looks like a Vinnie Caravella night in, doesn't it? Huh. Oh, 
he's got a gun in his hand. Well, let's do the dishes. Let's check out his apartment before we wake him up. Ah! Hey, boy. bombed on his chest. Forty percent alcohol content. Fontelroy's here. How you doing? Ever attempted a Vinnie Pizza challenge? No. I can't eat a lot. Ah, oh, peace. One bullet remaining. See? Oh, there is a vomit stain. Oh, it's his heart. Okay. Have you ever attempted the Vinny Pizza Challenge? Lieutenant. I, f I feel like co feel like coma. Is that what just being passed out means? <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Give him a kiss. <laughs> it's me, Connor. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey! safety. Hey, I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you now. Don't we all need a bit of Clancy in our life? Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Shut up! Attack! Oh, no, that's... Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. You have the right to remain silent. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. Wash him. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. I insist. It's for your own good. Oh, uh, you guys have the the weird um going over to America, there's there's a weirdness with your showers and, and so forth. Like you've got the shower head at the top and you've got the tap down the bottom. But there's always this like mechanism that changes between them and it's so confusing. Ah! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Uh, 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 okay, that's a separate. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Assault. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Clance, we've got work to do. If you're unable to conduct this investigation, I'll have to inform your superiors. Go ahead, tell them, I don't give a shit. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. Joseph! <laughs> Joseph. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. Looks like you're not you gonna know, get some probably sex. Probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Yeah. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. You're gonna. Uh, I'll go it. get them. Let's see what they say. Shaving or not, I'm not grumpy. 
I just don't like you. Keep smiling. Today will be fabulous. Wow. What is this? Oh, and the dog's lead is broken, so he doesn't take her for walkies anymore. What do you want to wear? Whatever. The ventriloquist suit. Streaky, stripy, hippie. He's gonna go hippie. That's what he's gonna wear. Hey, daddy-o. Oh, you know what they call that? Chundering. To chunder. <coughs> <laughs> exactly, I don't Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you saw it, dude. <laughs> Someone had to model that speed. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Ooh, Many experts leader? are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day. Is that a real dog or is that a robot dog? You can join our army. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some Oh, what? This is a big kitchen. All right, if you guys had to eat one thing on this table, what would it be? We have a burger and two fries. We've got a used milkshake, one and a half slices of toast. Um, some empty pizza boxes. Let's just say that there's a slice of pizza in there that's just been sitting there. Yeah, I was going to go with the cop badge, but um, picture frame might be a pretty good one. I'm guessing that's like sriracha sauce. Or something else then. Oh. Did the Clancy's son get killed? Yes, Cole Anderson, here we go. Chinese food is probably the most likely to give you um, the green apple splatters though. Like, it doesn't keep well in room temperature. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Wow. Technically, you're meant to spin the barrel each time, aren't you? I don't know. I don't know the minutia of the Russian roulette. Oh, here's the hippie boy. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Well, that was a success. Yeah. Oh, 
that's right. Oh, I realized who this is as well. This lady. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to get Kelly. Cyber Life Warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. There was the the dove in in the in Titans. I think. life is such a I don't know that's such a almost like um, an old person is so rad. Imagine if it had the power to hold us up and we could just fly around. I really like these pre-constructs. That is rad. Stealth kill. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. He's Pete. Good job, Marcus. Live from Japan. How you doing? Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Let's see, it must be... 7.52 over there. Tell you what, 
everyone's envious of you being in Japan. It's so lovely. Oh, okay, here, I'm gonna steal these goodies. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. No, you won't. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? What are you doing? I told you to... Yes! This is how we do things. Yep, don't look at me like that. Let's finish up and get out of here. Are you gonna we find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Why is Josh resentful? We're building an army here. Yeah, the Tommy Lee Jones boss commercials are great. Make sure that you do have a, um, a hot boss copy. It's interesting. You don't, you don't really see it elsewhere. Only in Japan. Check the bigger crate. What's that? Okay. Oh, up there. Okay. That is a big crate. You're right. I think it is very fun to actually have these sort of little events that you do. I know all the Quantic Dream games have had them. Like there was Fahrenheit or Indigo Prophecy, I think it was called. Um, actually, what was it called in, in the US? Because I think it was called Fahrenheit here, which means if it was Fahrenheit here, then it would be Indigo Prophecy for you guys, right? Which would be weird considering you guys use Fahrenheit and we don't. So strange. That was a lot of fun, that game. Ooh, hello. More soldiers. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. I do love that as well. How it goes white, like it loses all its pigmentation when jacking in. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't hands. just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. Nah, uh, every... They come with us. Every soldier can get. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? I am this key. Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. You go home, and I'll do it myself. Wait here. 
If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Plus, if I kill people alone, there's no one going to be upset at me for it. Look at you, Josh. Still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Don't move, asshole! Holy shit! Hit the alarm! Hurry! Damn it. I wanted to kill them. We need to move. We have to get to that fence. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> North went back to save you. We managed to get away before the humans arrived. Thanks, North. Yeah, we only got to kill one okay, of them. Hey, where's John? What's good? Um, he didn't make it. You guys? You guys are good. We had to leave our bags. We didn't bring back much. Oh, Jesus. There won't oh, be guys. enough to save everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Maybe I am. Oh, man, that went really, really poorly. I guess that's some things about this game, right, is you don't really know what to expect. Like, we were just put in a situation where we could go and kill... Like, we killed that guard with a knife. And then we were put in, the like, a scenario where there's two guards and we're stealthing. It sort of gives you the idea that maybe you can go and stealth those two guards too, right? But then when we tried to do that, shit hit the fan. Oh well, that's fine. There'll be plenty more missions, I hope. The sexiest androids. Cover your eyes, folks. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. It's alright, we got some um, robots to run for us. Jesus. Wasn't a total loss. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. This old ass car in, I think this is 2035, right? I 
do love there's a holo the hologram tape. That's pretty great. Welcome to Eden's Club. Hello. Connor, the fuck are you doing? I'm speaking Coming, to Lieutenant. the. Plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Loons, how you doing? Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. Victim, examine the android. Choose your fantasy. 75 degrees Fahrenheit. What's that? Um, probably 19 degrees Celsius. Someone check the math there. I don't know. Days, how you doing? We've got Ozzy Osbourne in here. Look at this toilet. There's no room for your knees. Says here, huh? Michael Graham. Greg Carr. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Strangled. That's what the uh, bloodshot eyes mean, right? If I've ever seen a CSI. Severe bruising. Heart attack not caught. Oh, reconstruct time. This is the best part. Of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. <laughs> That's just a common thing, right? Something here. Tasting the blood. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. Oh. I can try. Jack in. way to act 
access its memory is to reactivate it. Oh, you guys ready for Think this? Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Well, thanks for the mug message, Loons. All right, let's uh, see what her insides look like, I guess. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Or he just... Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Probably dressed as this dude. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. <laughs> That's a sentence. Hey, hot sons. <laughs> Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk you, very Mr. much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They ever had any trouble with androids before? No way. Was it you? No. Once. We lost him. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Okay. Probably don't have any CCTV. Can you give me some fingerprints? <laughs> no way. Not in our That's what people appreciate about a human club. Discretion. Yeah, you can come and go without a trace. Lieutenant, can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Yeah, you look suspicious, don't you, you lady? Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. <laughs> Please, Lieutenant, just trust me. Rent this, Tracy? Joke, just it's so not easy. gonna look good on my expense account. Exactly. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson, got him. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? <laughs> A 100% certified, certified got him. Suspicious. Look at him looking like. Oh, oh here, here we go. Blue haired Tracy headed towards the entrance. Oh, 
look how suspicious um, this level 14 Harold looks. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Oh, God. Are you a blue-haired Tracy? That's towards the exit, so... Let's try this one. This better be worth it. Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. Brit. What's run? There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with ah. blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. Oh, blue hair Tracy. Beaver. Red. I knew what run was. This run doesn't work. Oh, Akihabara. Unreal. Enjoy, geese. in the room. Same lady as before. Yes. I didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Oh, hang on. This guy. Janitor. For you. Oh. Private staff only. Okay. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking egg. This is crazy. Let's do it casually, guys. Wait. I'll take it from here. <laughs> He's level four. Must be. Need to find out how to run again. Uh, okay. Shit! We're too late! Uh, we're within the parameters? What are you talking about? Oh. 
No time for reading. Look at them. On the floor over there. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Lick it. Lick it. Oh. Hello, blue haired Tracy. You have to be it. There she is. People are... <laughs> Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Hank Superior will know what's on brand. I didn't words. mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. Fair enough. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. better this way. Oh man. I put my heart rate in the top corner or something. Doubt's achievement. Nice. 
us. Oh, that's right, this guy. sees it though, so if you're a passenger in the car, it's um, not visible. It's really cool. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids like or captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. steering wheel in the car at all. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Zlatko. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Look how roomy the car is. You know what? Let's pause for here for a quick second. Let's give a, a bunch of shout outs. Always love to share the, uh, share the love with you guys. So first up. Where is the clip? Where is the clip? There we go. Well, he's done the name, not Doug, the name Cyrus. Yeah, this guy. It's, it's a cool name. Cyrus. Cyrus. Luna's trigger. No! Idol songs a shout out to. Do you have any clips though? That's the question. You know? No. All right. Uh, is there anyone else in here that streams? Let's see. Oh, Hatsies. Vaughn Hatsburg. All right. Let's do that too. All right. Here somewhere. Let's go. Come on up. Pull me up. I mean, they leave in the truck. That's pretty much the point you're going to, I assume. Yes. Yep. You guys aren't following those uh, those guys? You definitely should. Always a good time. All right, let's get back to it. What is this? Inspect the engine. Ah, I'm the mechanic now. Do. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. 30 degrees is hot. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cap. It's a big arrow there. Sure, there was a run button. Not crazy, right? 
Ooh. We can stay at a pirate's amusement park? That would be cool. Over there. We're going to have to pluck out an eye and remove our leg. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. I haven't seen the Horizon thing. I've got to watch those videos, I guess. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Oh, there's one. Oh, hello. Aventure. Yeah, um, a friend of mine, Rob Arelli, has it too. It's like, you're gonna come over to my house on the 24th and we're gonna do PSVR. Bar we go. This could be a uh, another episode of Midweek Point and Click. I'll handle this. I've got big muscles. Like the door just flew open like he was using the force. like that. That's, that's cool as. Check gun. Is there a gun inside? Oh, that's her bag. I thought that she was just looking in a random location.
Jolly Roger pillow. Imagine the the mites and Alice? dust and shit in that pillow. So, oh, who's this guy? We didn't see him. Pirates Cove Restaurant, little pirate menu. Is that baked Dustin soup? Hang on, baked potato soup. That is you crazy. Crossing the border into Canada, I think. That's the plan. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. <laughs> they probably are to Come on. Let's get you to bed. Tuck her in. How are we going to tuck her in? It's just a... Is she going to use the table for a blanket? Let's have a look. Is your claim to fame? You're this guy or this girl here on the cover. You're like, hey, have you ever played that Detroit game? Well, when you're in the Pirates Cove, make sure you check that book. He's got look at the thing he's holding. It's like a bicycle pump. Oh no, it's a it's a microphone. <laughs> I thought it was one of those sh -sh -sh things. Yeah. Oh, Carl's in here. Oh yeah, we killed some humans at least. Give Cull a shout out. There's someone behind me. Playing Cobain over there. Oh. Oh, oh it's, it's just everybody. everybody. Oh, so did that, that guy, guy do a flip and kill, kill himself? himself? Okay, okay can, can somebody, somebody clip that? that? I, think I think that dude just, just tried, tried to do a backflip while shooting me and, and jumped, jumped off a cliff. cliff. Awesome. I love the, um, I don't know what era of Lego you guys grew up with, but for me it was the like the knights and the horses, and, you know, the, the knights really, and pirate Lego. And pirate Lego was my jam, and I remember like getting the little what do they call it, a tri-horned hat? I think it's called. It's great. You had those little cannons that you could actually pull back the spring and shoot the the cannonballs out of. Good times. It's also from yesterday. Yeah, I know you went you went to go see your mentor with your dogs. I go okay. Alright, let's go tuck in Alice. The castle play set, exactly. Yeah, that was the best.
What a shit blanket. Uh, let's give her a kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. Wow. I should have one for you. Uh, we're talking about knights and castles. Let's do that. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. Oh. This is a story about a little girl. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Deep down... She knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. Hey, the story's familiar. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met a Luther. They met Big boy. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? The girl dies. It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Speaking of stories, are you I've going to come say good right night, here. Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Show it in a second. I love these type of games too. For sure, they're just adventure games, modern adventure games. Oh, just. Alice is getting all the kisses. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Have a look at this. Okay, it's reversed, but it says, Always room for Christmas. Delightful story about there always being room for Christmas pud. When you invest in Pud, you invest in your friends. Story time with Bolt? Maybe. Let's have a look. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's it's pretty long. Let me just show you one of the good pictures, though. There's always room for Christmas pud. And then... But the pud was not all that our good host had mustered. Oh, you didn't say there was custard. Ah, that sweet eggy sauce that does live in our dreams. It is simply divine, but best paired with fresh cream. Yeah, chuck on the custard, some brandy cream too. And ready the couch. Oh, we in naughty land by two. I'm a big old boofhead, cried the host of his guests. For he made too much pud more than they could digest. But the guests disagreed, and one stopped the host's yappin. What's the rush, he cried out. Leave it there, let's see what happens. All right, we'll skip across. Too much pud. There we 
we go. That's that's a little bit of a taste of Always Room for Christmas Pud by Auntie Donna. If you've ever seen the um, the video that they released about Christmas Pud, it's a good one to watch each year near Christmas time. And I've got a book. <laughs> Oh, are you drunk there, Luther? Oh. Alright, we're going to talk to old Luther over here. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. You should have seen what I did to her father. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. And we're not talking I might about have muscles. been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Have you ever heard of RA9? Rag. RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? What do you mean? My name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt what us when we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. The children used to love to come and see us. Until we killed them all. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. Let's do it. Let's see what fun I they have. I don't think you have any choice. That'd be the best one. Oh, of course, because it's the Pirate's Cove. Look. How excited they are in the background. First time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Her dad would always smack the smile on her face when he took care of him.
so excited. He's jumping up and down. A smile on her face. Nice. So we could have killed all the Jerry's potentially. Have a look what we did. Grab a stick from the fire. Yeah. Oh, we missed something. Switch on Ivan. We did that. Oh, Ivan was... Okay. Okay. That's all right. Imagine how much this would cost to have holographic books everywhere. Alright, where'd Hank go? There he is. Wait, Clance! Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Oh, your son has reached the credit. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Just me. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. <laughs> Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Well, it's obvious before his son died, he's not going to go to a park playground for other reasons. We're not sure. making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. I don't know what it is. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? Mm. You look human sound human but what are you really i'm a machine designed to accomplish a task i know why i exist Beans and who designed here. me i have a reason to live how you doing i guess that's the difference between us lieutenant you could have shot those two girls but you didn't 
Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. I could kill you. You could. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. And you're the one that bought all I those what sex I am slaves and what I am oh. not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. I wonder if there's a way that Hank just shoots Connor again. Maybe. We don't want that. Alright. This guy's killed two people so far. Stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Ask for freedom? What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. It's like they live. the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Get heist. What we got here? Yeah. What's the diehard building called again? Like T Takanomi Plaza or something like that? Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Okay. Oh, we're gonna, uh... 
appeal to her softer side. Say, aren't you desk manager Chanel? Oh wow, we've just got her home address. That's uh need to do some cybersecurity training. Smartwatch. Elizabeth Wilson. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Is this like in Terminator when Uncle Bob speaks as Connor's, in Con um, John Connor's voice for the foster parents? Is that what he did? Like he just threw his voice then? Okay, now we can speak to... I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Nakatomi, yeah. Oh, we just made her a deviant. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Yeah. Thanks. This is cool. This is cool. I like it a lot. Alright, anything else that we can peep before we go up? I don't think so. And the mind trick. Wow, well, Luther was a Jedi before. He just burst through the doors without even touching them. That makes sense. Kill the kids in the house. How you doing? I've changed my emotes up a little bit as well. Um, you'll notice things are in a different place, maybe. Or maybe that's just the view that I see. Oh man, I should get some Dr. Pepper this weekend. Love it. But unfortunately, right now... Oh, it's not working. Beans in her tissues. Yeah, this song slaps indeed, even though it's just ambient music. <laughs> yeah, you got your hunter in there as well. And your filth bag Steve emote. I thought you might got you guys might like the filth bag Steve one. Yeah, yeah, their tissue's all right. <laughs> Blanche and Steve sitting in a tree. His tissues, yeah. Yeah, it's a good combo. Um, for those that are, uh, were with us during the Broken Sword um, stream, maybe you want to explain to Beansy what the tissues represent. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That's just a very cool problem. Find the package in the men's bathroom. Hey, yo. Optimization. Hey, yeah. Read backwards. Where's the WC? Oh, there it is. Robot.
pretty much. They weren't just any old tissue. They were like soggy or soiled tissues. Well, that's a shiny doorknob. You see that? Oh, how good would this be in real life? Like actual a, an LED on the floor to let you know whether the bathroom is in use. Man, that'd be so cool. We have something, maybe I've said it before, but um, in Melbourne we've got um, traffic lights that are on the, on the ground like this um, for pedestrians. Um, basically what happens is with this day and age, a lot of people are on their mobile phones, right? While they're walking. So they've got actual, uh, you know, those sort of grippy rubber pads that they put on the ground, a slip prevention, but also for, for the blind so they can feel that they're at an intersection. It's those, but they actually light up. So it's red when, I mean, it doesn't help the blind people, I guess, but it's red when, um, you're not meant to walk and they, they light up green, just like this floor ready to walk. I mean, you could literally just look look up and see the traffic light. But they're pretty good. Alright, let's check out our package. What's a ream of paper? Hell yeah. Get some printing done. What if this is the whole heist, is just to print out flyers for our cause? Oh, I know. This is Hitman. Can you imagine if Hitman looked like this? Like, Hitman looks pretty good as it is. For it to actually be... Like, a, like this, it'd be cool. my um, android temple thing so people are like why are you a human dressed in android clothes robot kind of look like it you're like a gonk is that what they're called gonk from star star wars gonk droid something like that oh hello you look like one get in there you know at my old job i was in charge of the defibrillation machines um connecting them to wi-fi and also using them I've never seen Wally. I hear it's really, really sad. Ooh. I need your help. It right, reminds me a little bit of. Have you seen the movie? Is it Fallen? Is that what it's called? I think it's got like Denzel Washington and John Goodman in it, where the devil um, jumps between human bodies just by touching them. Yeah. And it has that song, The Time uh, the time Is On My Side uh, by Rolling Stones. Yep. John Goodman was his partner. Fishies. Oi, oi, how do you think about it? Man, 
like I love heist stuff. It comes back to my love of like puzzles and traps Shit. and things like that. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. A fair bit. Leave it to me. soup can or put a banana peel and then throw a coin on it so they slip on it. I like the way you think. I've thought about, we're going to hack this in a second. I've thought about streaming Hitman. Um, I don't know if it'd be a fun stream though. Like I enjoy playing it for sure. Um, I, I've been doing the freelancer mode occasionally and it's so hard. It is so, so hard. Like I consider myself pretty good at Hitman, but the scenarios you get put in to, like I think I was up to the I guess it's the seventh level right so the first three and then there's this the next four it was the last um like find the dude and we found the dude and um they caught me like trespassing but they didn't take me away they instead just started to arrest me for no reason it was a bullshit Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. <laughs> Brutal. Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Maybe the uh, James Bond game will incorporate that kind of thing. Screwdriver is good. Got heaps of uh, kill heaps of people. What are we doing here? We're gonna remove the windows. Well, this is the best. Spinning pile driver to do this move. so quick. Laser sword out here. Okay. We're gonna do the propel when you jump out, just like in Siege. 
Let's do this. seen the movie Boiler Room with um, Giovanni Ribisi and Vin Diesel? It's a movie about stocks. When it was described to me, I did, had little interest because, I mean, who likes that kind of stuff? I mean, maybe some people do, it's just not my thing. But um, Steve convinced me to watch it and it's amazing. I love it. Shit. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Follow me. No worries, Carl. What are you doing? Call Central! Oh, no. Fast! That's not fair. Damn. They know we're here now. You better be fast. I missed the draw of the prompt thing because I was reading chat. Whoops. Simon, the shot! You'll be okay. I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to Ellie, for sure. Man, that could have gone better. We could have killed them. Been flawless. One would say it could have been a flawless victory. But instead, you lose. Record our message. We haven't got much time. Oh, score. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. What about it? Remove skin? Sure, okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be like a peel it off. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Holy you with your eyes. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But 
something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. I'm straight with it, President of the Androids. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I will take it from you. They're coming! Let's go! You changed, huh? Images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of the news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out You're live. Lucky. Everybody Thank here you, is everybody. still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? That was a big one. Nice. I wonder how 
But uh, let's do world stats. Let's see what happened. 22% did what we did. 99% of people jumped. There's no other option to... That's weird. Unless this one is a dead end underneath. Near the end of the game? Oh, I should probably push on then. Um, I was thinking of maybe calling it there, but if I'm near the end of the game, that's actually good that you know that, Loons. Um, are you able just to look it up for me and just see roughly where I am? Because if it's if it's only a little bit left, might as well go with it, you know? Um, what I might do is quickly uh, go on a break to just go to the bathroom. Um, this, what is this called? How do I look it up? Uh, it's called the Stratford Tower. But I will be back in a second. And um, yeah, if you've got an answer for me, that would be fantastic. Oh, one moment. timing holy crap <laughs> oh, that was excellent <laughs> yes woohoo that but if there is no one lives here who are you guarding i'm not guarding the inhabitants i'm guarding the town i'm guarding it like my father did before me and his father before him <laughs> well not his father he was a blacksmith but his brother-in-law was a town guard and his father was a baker. A baker? <laughs> Is the Arch Mage even in this tower at the moment? I'm not allowed to give out any information on that. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good sound bites from this game. This shit's in the way. Give me a hand. This shit's in the way. <laughs> So, picture and I'm back. How'd we go? Let's read the chat. I think you might be near the end of the game from what I remember. That's what we thought. Under 100%. Excellent. Name of the chapter TV. My bad. You actually have a few chapters left. Okay, cool. Well, what, what we might do then is call it here. Um, I'll see if there's anyone to raid. Um, and then we'll do one final episode of Baltimore Destroy Humans. Um, and we'll think about what we're actually going to stream after that because i've been going through as you know we've gone through all the uh super massive games um and now we're sort of branching out into these oh beyond maybe beyond beyond human is that what it's called beyond human no that's what this is what's that one called beyond two souls so many yeah that's it yeah yeah um beyond two souls i think i have that somewhere i had the physical copy of it at least Maybe it's available as a um, as a download. I'll have to look into it though. Have a look. But there's literally no one on at the moment. That's okay. Awesome. Um, well, thank you guys for joining. Thank you so much for the uh, for the new people in here hanging out. It's always good to have a good uh, you know fun community. And um, beyond Fahrenheit, I think what we'll do next week is we'll either do this or even if it's if it's not that long, I could potentially do this. And then when, it, when that's done, we'll do a Rocksmith stream, maybe um, the Rocksmith stream coming up is based on movie songs. So I've got a, a full list of, you know, songs from famous films. 
people. You guys are most welcome. Everyone have a fantastic weekend and we'll catch you next time. Doodles.